Hey everybody, Brandon Beliso here, and today I want to talk to you about stress. We hear it all the time, man, that stresses me out. Man, I'm stressed. But it's really about your perception. You know, a great book that I'm reading right now is called Before Happiness by Sean Ankor. And they did this whole research. He's a Harvard guy, and he's really big on happiness and understanding how to facilitate happiness, create happiness, and have that type of positive mindset. So they did this study. It was right about 2007 when we had that financial crisis and the housing market crashed. <clears throat> and he put half these, these guys from UBS in one room, telling them stress kills you, depresses you, causes illness, people become suicidal, um, they underperform. In the other room, they said stress is this great motivator because it, it challenges you and gives you the opportunity to rise above yourself and turn it into a positive. Well, guess what? Through the perception, one side... The people who were told stress kills, et cetera, et cetera, became depressed, they underperformed, they quit their job, they had relationship issues. On the other side, these guys that were instilled with the perception that, you know what, um, stress is actually a motivator, they rose above it. Sales rose, their attitudes rose, everything became better. So it's really about perception. And people say all the time, well, you can't change people, you can't teach an old dog new trick. Yes, you can. See, you as a business owner, you as an entrepreneur, you can get in there and you can literally change the way people think. Here's a simple exercise. Stand face to face with somebody and smile at them. And you can't tell me within 7 to 10 seconds, another research study was proven, you can't tell me within 7 to 10 seconds they're not going to smile back. Coincidence? Or were you able to invoke that in them? See, so that's what's really cool about it. So don't think that simply teaching a class is enough. You want to put forth that positive mindset. You want to be able to put forth that type of energy that's going to attract the same energy into your space. And you know, when someone comes at you with negative energy, or, or, or as we call them, the haters in the game, you know what? Kill them with kindness. If you want to do anything, don't feed into that type of energy. Kill them with kindness. Do not oppose force with force, but allow the force to defeat itself, because it will. So what are we talking about? Stress should not consume you. Stress shouldn't stress you out. Let stress be something you can embrace. And you know me, it's been a challenging year, and through it all I've managed to look at every challenge, every adversity, as an opportunity. That was my perception. I perceive it as an opportunity to learn, grow, and become a better person. Hey, I got another Q&A, candid webinar, coming up on November 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Start sending me those questions at professor1martialarts.com. We're going to do this every month now. I'm going to answer all your questions and help you succeed on a personal and professional basis. This is Brandon Beliso. Until we meet again, catch me at brandonbeliso.com and go out there and make a difference.